Oscar-nominated actor Chaim Topol has tragically died at the age of 87. The Fiddler on the Roof star was best known for his iconic portrayal of long-suffering, charismatic milkman Tevi in the celebrated 1971 musical film. The Israeli president confirmed Chaim's death on Wednesday via Twitter. The president, Isaac Herzog, led tributes marking Chaim as a titan of Israeli culture and one of Israel's finest theater artists. He also declared the Israeli star, a gifted actor who conquered many stages in Israel and overseas, filled the cinema screens with his presence and above all entered deep into our hearts. Although the star's cause of death was not confirmed, Chaim had been battling Alzheimer's disease for years according to Deadline. The world-renowned actor first started his career as the titular and beloved character in 1964's Israeli comedy Salah Shabbati. His work on the film earned the star his first Golden Globe for the most promising male newcomer. Years later the versatile actor took to the West End starring as Tevi in Fiddler on the Roof before originating the role on film 2 in 1971. His stellar performance earned Chaim another Golden Globe, this time for Best Actor, and his vocals to the tunes of If I Were a Rich Man became an unforgettable part of musical history. Two decades later, Chaim returned to the stage as Tevi for the Broadway revival of Fiddler, earning him a Tony Award nomination. It is believed that in total, by the time Chaim officially retired from the role in 2009, he had performed Fiddler on the Roof more than 3,500 times on both stage and screen. Aside from Fiddler on the Roof, Chaim had a lengthy and celebrated career in international film. He starred in the likes of 1975's Bertolt Brecht's Galileo, the sci-fi classic Flash Gordon in 1980 and James Bond movie For Your Eyes Only in 1981. In 2015, Chaim was awarded one of Israel's most prestigious awards, the Israel Prize, for lifetime achievement and special contribution to society and the state. The actor is survived by his wife Galia and their three children, daughters Anat and Adi and son Omer. Just days ago, Omer revealed to Israeli news outlet Ynet that when his father won the Israel Prize, his Alzheimer's was in its early stages. He praised his father, calling him an amazing actor who developed all kinds of tactics to cover up the problems that began to arise. He spoke wonderfully at the ceremony, and also at other events, and no one even felt it. 